It's been one of the biggest celebrity friendship breakups since Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. Back in 2016, we were introduced to a reality show on Lifetime called Little Women Atlanta. The show followed the lifestyle of this group of midgets, excuse me there, little women on their day to day. During its run though, two of them mainly stood out in particular, Brianna Barlow and Emily Fernandez, or as we all know them as, left cheek and right cheek. The two would go on to form a strong friendship that unfortunately just broke up not too long ago. Why? Well, let's break it down. Emily Fernandez and Brie Barlow were born on June 30th, 1991 and April 12th, 1992. The two met up in Atlanta in a club where they danced and from there formed a strong friendship. After being featured in Lil Chucky's video, The Wop, Brie and Emily started referring to themselves as left cheek and right cheek. And for the next four years, would go on to do many things together. Besides doing the TV reality series, Little Women Atlanta and Little Women Dallas, the Cheeks launched a music career where they made videos such as Getting Rich, Run That Check, Shoot Your Shot, HD, and the most popular one, Poppin' Bottles. The Cheeks were also very popular in the celebrity circle, but yet over time, things started to change. One of the things was Emily's behavior. Over time, many people and fans expressed deep concerns as well as hatred on Emily's actions. From her many Instagram live posts where she would be wilding out, to the shaving of her head, up to the talk of CPS getting involved with child custody because of supposed messy house conditions. Another reason was rumors being spread around that right cheek was supposedly sleeping with Wooda, left cheek's baby daddy. This hasn't been fully confirmed, but it also hasn't been ultimately, uh, in, ah, screw it. It also hasn't been denied, let's just put it right there. <laughs> Especially when seeing right cheek and Wooda constantly on social media together. But it really came around when Brie appeared on the episode of Little People Atlanta and was talking to Miss Juicy that it all came out. What's up with you and Emily? We're not friends no more. Let me say what happened okay. and when I left so it's clear okay. for everybody. Was well, she trying to sleep with Wooga? No. Oh, well, tell she me, I'm just saying. <laughs> alive if she did that. And I knew that would never happen. We were living together at the time, and we were going to the studio one night. We kept getting sitters for the kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, if we don't have nothing planned, why are we just going there just to sit and chill with people? Like, I could be home with my kids. We just kept arguing, so I turned around, went back to her house, got my kids, and said I was leaving. And then basically just washed my hands and blocked her on everything. So you just got tired of the negativity? I mean, people grow apart, things happen. And I know a lot of people are surprised because like, they were like, y'all are like family. But I'm like, things happen. Yet despite the outcome of their friendship, Left Cheek still remain humble and respectable of the situation. Especially when being constantly bombarded on social media, she would tell people to pray for Right Cheek instead of hating on her. And I mean, they basically put it online and stuff. Do you think that person would want you to just keep sharing stuff and saying this and that and that negative and all this and just keep sharing it? Like, would y'all want that done to y'all? And second off, how can I put this without being ignorant? Um, 
that was a friendship of what nine years so you don't think that would make me upset to see a friend go down like that because Emily does have you know a lot of demons that she's been fighting off lately and the pressures of life social media fame and the fact that she still copes with the death of her son JJ are we surprised that she became this ticking time bomb yet in the end it does suck that they're not friends anymore because I am a Cheeks fan and I hope that one day I can meet both of them. But who knows? Maybe as time goes by, you know, like um, they'll reconcile and they'll, you know, form their friendship back. Uh, but right now, at this point, right now, you know, with Emily wilding out and Bree mostly thinking about, you know, her family and things like that while doing her own thing, you know, it's, it's a lot of things that really need to, like, um, that really need to happen. Like number one, mainly on Emily's side, because like I said earlier, she's got a lot of ghosts. You know, she's got a lot of demons that she's battling right now. And once she battled those right there and kind of get her head in the game, then maybe, you know, like her and Bree can patch up things and become friends again and all that right there. Now, as far as the cheeks concerned, I think right now, yeah, at this point, we can just basically say for say that's pretty much over. But, you know, hey, we got the memories and things like that. And like I said, once again, I hope I can meet him one day. No, but that's going to do it for this video right here. This is D-Wayne as always saying until next time. We's out.